I guess that's my new intro now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another fantastic episode or video or live stream or whatever you want to call this thing that I do on Wednesday nights. So we have some stuff for this evening planned. Uh, I already informed the patrons that we'll be doing the Doge V2 build today. I've got the Doge X V2 here dug out of the archives. And today we're going to be building it and talking about it and taking a better look at it. So uh, I honestly haven't seen one of those in a long time. One of these these things, I should say. Um, so I'm pretty excited to take a look at it. Uh, I never actually owned one of these. I just found it at the shop recently, so I just took it. <laughs> but I'm sure the boss won't mind a five-year-old piece of hardware going missing. Um, so yeah, what else do we have on the menu today? We've got some vape mail to unbox. That's exciting. Can't wait to take a look at what I got. Haven't had vape mail in a while, but I've had heard some rumors that I will be getting some more vape mail very soon. So that's exciting too. Um, what else we have? I'm going to do the build. We're going to talk about that. Oh, you guys, if you want to get in on it, I'm doing a Patreon auction. Uh, it's going to be like a, I guess it's like a penny silent auction kind of thing where we're going to do, you know, just pay for shipping and uh, anyone that wants certain things are going to just be able to bid on them on my Patreon page. And that's going to be happening pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and every tier is involved with that. You can get in on the dollar tier if you guys want to sign up. It starts at a buck a month. That gets you access to the Coffee Talk live streams I do every Sunday. 
and all the other tiers get involved with the giveaways. So any product that I get in, if I get more than one of, I am then just going to give one away to my lovely patrons. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, plan is we're going to do some sort of auction where I'm going to put up a picture, put up a starting bid, and then you can bid like a quarter or something like that. And then any money that is beyond the cost of shipping gets donated to charity. We're going to pick a charity together as a group of, you know, patrons and, you know, whatnot. And we're going to pick a charity to give to. And I might make this a somewhat regular thing, um, especially if I have any, like, leftover stuff or uh, if I just start to gather random stuff that I find uh, in my office. But that ring light is right on the pupils on my eyes. Yeah, that's that's kind of the point. I mean, if I take my glasses off here, uh, mm, does it look cool? Ah, wow, that really burns. Don't do that. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure my retinas are now seared. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so what else do we have going on? This is from Conger Vape, the Doge XV2. Let's actually get a better look at that real quick. Boop. I mean, you'll be seeing it in the close-ups here in a second, but this is the Conger Vape Doge XV2. Uh, X1 in chat, or you know what, even better, X2 in chat, if you've ever actually seen one of these things in person. Uh, they weren't really that popular. I mean, the popularity of the Doge was kind of dying down by the Doge V2 in itself. Uh, so I'm surprised that this thing even, you know, survives. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't end up like the, uh, what was it, the E.T. video games for Atari or something. They buried them out in the desert and filled them in with concrete. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Um, so before we get started with the build, I did want to firstly go over what I'm vaping on. And actually, I'm going to leave that on like that. So let's go over what I'm vaping on. I've been kind of like mix and matching stuff lately. I was using... Uh, I was using something on the Warlock's hammer and it, it wasn't that, it wasn't great for some reason. I don't know if the, the coils I have are just a little too high res, uh, resistance for a parallel box or something, but either way, uh, let's start off with this one here. This is the Mag Grip. Yeah, the Smoke Mag Grip with the Steam Crave Aromamizer Plus V2 on top in big mode, 16 mil of e-liquid with a very crazy looking cobra sort of top whatever you want to call that honeycomb drip tip thing there so that is one setup and yes i know it looks ridiculous but you know what this is i said it in my review this is still one of the most comfortable vapes i own it's it fits my hand very nicely it's it's nice and wide and big so i can kind of grip onto it really nicely and Just have a good old vape on it. And it holds a lot of juice, so that's good. Only negative side is it's a single battery. Although I'm using a 21700, it doesn't last all day. I go through at least two batteries a day with that one. I've got some juice head in there, blueberry lemon. And this is one and a half milligram, it's not zero. I just use the label so I know which one it is. Uh, but that is the juice that I'm vaping on in that tank. My next setup is really weird. This is the Titan, the Aromamizer Steam Crave, Steam Crave, is it the Aromamizer Titan or is it just the Titan? It is the Aromamizer Titan. It's the Aromamizer Titan RDTA in small mode. I guess it's medium mode because small mode is no glass whatsoever. It's basically like a huge dripper kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, this is this setup in 15 mil mode. I believe this one holds 15 mil in this mode here. Can't remember. It's been a long time since my review, and I just know it's around 15 mil. But in either case, I've got some uh, coils from Mr. For British Eyes Only in here. So shout out to For British Eyes Only. <clears throat> and I've got it on the RX2 21700, my, my workhorse convention kind of beater. If you will, it's got a lot of scratches and dents on it, but it's still still pretty, you know. It's got that like not holographic, but sort of 
blue green looking finish on it which looks nice and actually got the batteries on charge right now so let's just grab them off of there give them a little quick charge before the stream and let's pop some batteries in and vape this thing hope everyone's having a great day um right after this i will get to the shout out so feel free to pop something in chat if you want a shout out So yeah, this thing is rocking and rolling. Uh, it's 0.2 ohm coils in here, so it's a little bit higher than I anticipated. I was hoping for around a 0.1, but um, yeah, the frame staples that Ryan made are 0.2, so that's why um, that's why I feel like it was a little bit too high for a parallel box with voltage drop and the fact that uh, you know a, a, a 4.2 or which kind of turns out to be around a 3.7 volt output just can't quite do it and you really need that 4.0 plus uh, for voltage on these particular coils right and the last thing really that i'm vaping on this week is this guy you guys have seen me rocking this around my neck recently. This is the the Mi Pod. Yeah, I've been I've been hitting this thing a lot recently. Uh, I don't know what kind of drew me back to this thing, but it's nice. It's really nice. I don't know what it is. But it's nice. I like it. I'm using some Vaptasia regular juice in there. It's just I got these sample bottles of their lemonade line. So I've got a blackberry and a peach lemonade that I'm alternating. I have an extra pod right here that I'm using in it uh, for the other flavor. And I'm just kind of switching back and forth. It's nice and summery. I'm, I'm vaping a lot of summery flavors. Oh, yeah. In the Aroma Miser Titan, I have this stuff here. This is uh, Momentum by Aqua. It's a mango candy flavor. It's absolutely delicious. If you guys want to try some of that. A little bit throaty, even for one and a half milligram. This is one and a half milligram, uh, and it is a little bit throaty. Now, <clears throat> one thing I will be doing right now currently is mixing some of this. This is Karango by Transistor, and I have a zero wait zero and a three and we're going to mix them together and make some one and a half so that's what i'm going to do right now as i uh mix it together i, I literally this is like pff, the most ghetto way to do it but i have a, a cup here that i'll be just pouring both bottles into swirling it around and then pouring it back into each bottle so as i do that i will hopefully be able to multitask and uh, shout you guys out here in just a second. So let's go ahead and do this. Boop, boop. There we go. All right. So starting from the top and working our way down, we have Spike Vapes first in chat. Welcome. We have Mr. Demo ba Vapes. Demo Vapes? Demo Vapes, who is the first uh, like, apparently. And he also says, boy, his catchphrase. Uh, who else we got? We got Vapor Swag is in here as the fifth like. Big shout out to you, dude. Hope you enjoy my, my juice uh, choice for the day. And let's see. We've got a Chloe Dean. Welcome, Chloe. How are we doing tonight? We've got Goons and Rebels. How are we? We've got this motherfucker here. Hope you enjoy the music. I try to pick out something kind of funky kind of hip you know something that gets you going and uh, i did a poll on my channel and a lot of people said they want me to add a link in the video after it goes live so that they can skip the music and that is totally doable i just have to edit the description and add a timestamp in in order to do that which is no problem at all and that way for those people that are re-watching this video afterwards you can just click that that annotation or uh i guess link or whatever you want to call it in 
the description of the video. Okay, now I have both bottles emptied. Totally forgot about these safety seal rings, so now they're floating around in this cup I have here. Awesome. Uh, we have Puddle Jumper 84. Welcome, my dude. We've got Jennyson Designs. Hello, hello. Jenny had the V3 Doge. Yes, the V3 Doge, the one that like four people bought before the, they went out of business. I'm pretty sure they uh, they are not doing things anymore. They're not making anything. I, I haven't seen anything from Congravape in a very long time. He was one of the first people to kind of call out uh, the whole Ultim thing. He's like, oh, Ultim melts, Ultim melts. You can't make stuff out of Ultim, it's gonna melt. That is true. Ultim does have a melting point. It is still plastic at the end of the day. It is, it's like highly heat resistant, but it's not, it's not completely impenetrable. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, getting off topic here, we've got Anthony Cliet. I hope I spelled or s sounded your name out correctly. 808 Kevin K. Aloha. We've got Vaping with Nikki B. How's it going? Wow. Good to see you too. Um... Let's see, Kevin Frey is in chat. Karen Huffman, hello. Uh, we we have a sexy Nick this week, apparently. Thank you, Swaggins. AJ Mini is in chat as well. Dustin Stewardist. And that's about it for right now. If you guys want to shout out, throw something in chat as I mix this juice up. Mmm. Wow, that is a big that that's a big cup of juice right there. And I, yes, I call it juice. I can't stop calling it juice. I've called it juice my entire vaping career, and I can't stop now. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with it. I mean, I get it. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys call it whatever you want. Personally, I'm just going to call it juice. Um, it's kind of one of those things working at a vape shop. You hear so many people call it oil, and they call it all these random things. Anyone that's worked at a vape shop knows exactly what I'm talking about. People call it smoking oil and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it, it's the cringiest thing ever. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, what kind of juice do you want? You know, uh, it's hard to correct people like that. But I would much rather people say liquid than say oil. <laughs> but I'm waffling here. I'm wasting time. Let's go ahead and pour this back into the bottles. You know what? You know what? I have, I have a vapor towel here. So we're going to mix over the, the towel just in case. I mean, I have build mats and all that, but, you know, it's kind of a messy process no matter what. This is actually very delicate. Oh, and now the little safety ring fell out. Great. That's causing a mess. You know what I need in this room is baby wipes. Almost there. Come on. Oh, there's the other safety ring. Great. Grand. Wonderful. <laughs> We're not doing too bad here, though. Not wasting a lot. That's, a, that's good. This is high-quality premium juice here. We don't want to waste it. Okay. That's one full, full. And the next. And... Boom. All right, we're looking pretty good. Trying not to waste it. I know I'm doing this off camera. I do apologize. All right. Don't worry if you're just joining us now. You didn't miss anything. Uh, just the shout outs and what I'm vaping on, which I'm sure no one cares about that anyways. But I don't know. I feel like it's just a vape show thing. It's a live stream thing that you have to just tell people what you're vaping on. All right, mess, slight mess, slight mess, not too bad, not terrible. And now we have 240 mils of 1.5 milligram, which is what I vape now. And you know what? It's, so far it's working out really well. It keeps me very interested in vaping. It makes me want to vape more different flavors and try new stuff. Like I'll find a zero and a three and I'm like, Ooh, sweet. Let me mix that. And, uh, it's like a whole new adventure for me. And you know, I tried the zero milligram thing. It was doing all right for a little bit, but at the end of the day, 
I just felt the I didn't feel the need to vape anymore when I was doing zero because it just felt pointless, which, you know, not saying vaping zero is pointless because I'm sure a ton of people out there vape zero just for flavor or, you know, they've dropped their nicotine all the way down. More power to you. Uh, but I just can't really say that it interests me if I don't have any nicotine in it. Um, and 1.5 isn't that much uh, nicotine, you know, it's, it's probably as low as I'm ever going to go because doing the vapor math for one milligram or two milligram is not something as easy, easy, easily done as three, uh, three to one and a half. So I'm just going to stay at 1.5. I'm happy here. I'm, I'm really happy here. I got to say, all right. And even for mouth to lung setups, I'm doing like three milligram, which is really not that much. Since you're using the Meat Pod today, Karen Huffman had a question you could maybe speak to uh, for her. Let's see. Karen Huffman just got a drop RDA. I love it. Put some frame stable. Uh, okay, that's not the question. Uh, let's see. Question. I got a Meat Pod. Can I use sub ohm salt nick in it? Well, sub ohm salt nick would mean that it's three or six milligram just made with salt, uh, salt-based nicotine. Because salt nick in itself is not inherently high milligram. It's, it's just a type of nicotine. Uh, it's just kind of gone hand in hand with the idea of high milligram nick salts. So if you're using a sub-ohm salt that is three or six milligram, nicotine then yeah that's no problem whatsoever uh the me pod was kind of designed for higher milligram stuff so personally i would say if you are looking for a satisfaction for instance if you normally use like a three milligram or a six milligram then i would use probably a higher milligram e either regular juice like 12 or 18 or if you're going to do salts 25 or 35 somewhere around there um 50 milligram is a little bit too much, I feel like. I don't know. For this this guy here, I mean, I'm, I'm direct lunging it. So for me, direct lunging it, using 3 milligram, it's just like any other vape. It's just a restricted draw. Uh, but I can see why for anyone that's using salt nick with it, uh, you would definitely want to mouth to lung it and not have that huge amount of vapor just because it's going to knock you on your ass. But I hope that answers your question. Uh, thicker juice, VG wise, uh, thicker juice. I got to look back in chat now. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I definitely need some syringes for e-juice mixing. I, I'm just lazy. I mean, it, I got the job done. Now I got my two bottles. They're all sealed back up. We're good to go. Um, I, I feel like it's a bit overkill. But yeah, can't wait to try this stuff. Vapor Swagons raves about it. It's Karango by Transistor. It's a mango flavor. I don't know if there's anything else in there. Karango, Karango. I don't know. We'll find out. Candy mango, something like that, maybe. Um, what time is it? How are we doing on time? Let's see. We got to get this moving. So let's clear up the space here. Get all this stuff out of here. And <clears throat> get moving on this build. So let's go back. Uh, let's go right down to the close up VUE thing real quick. And we'll, we'll get moving on this build. Boom. Okay. So let's increase the light going on here. I have all of my tools. I actually brought my uh, my pliers home, which is nice. Let's stretch this mic out a little bit. There we go, so you guys can hear me. Move my juice out of the way. I need a bigger desk. Okay. So today I'm going to be building with these Og Vape pre-made coils. Yes, I am officially too lazy to build now. These are multi-core Fuse Claptons. Uh, I know it's not going to be able to focus here, of course, but it, it really wants to focus. 
It wants to try. Oh, it's like so close. I don't know. I swear this webcam is messed up. But uh, let's do this. Configure video. Do, 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 do. Bear with me, folks. We'll do manual focus mode. Whoa, a little too close. There we go. Multi-core staggered fuse Clapton. They say staggered. It's not actually staggered. I'll show you. 29 gauge times 2, 38 gauge times 9, and 38 gauge outer wrap. So that is what is in these coils. They should be 0.3 ohm. And that is okay by me because we're doing a dual coil. So it comes in these little case, this little case thing here. I'm going to grab two of them. All right. Yeah, it's definitely, I, I just, you know, I wish I could invent a webcam. There we go. Nothing super special about these coils, except on the inside in the middle, it is like a crazy looking, uh, not twisted wire. I guess it, it is twisted wire. I can't imagine it's anything else. But either way, I chose them for the resistance, not the looks. I have a fresh battery in my ohm reader. Where is the center of the screen? Boom. That's the center of the screen? Oh, okay, I see. Boop. There we go. There's the center of the screen. Maybe that's why. Okay. So, let's get the tools out. And this has a flat head, I know that. So we're just gonna get those two bits out for right now. And here it is, the Doge X V2. And it's very dark in there, so we're gonna show it off. Yeah, the classic Conger vape packaging. Kind of minimalistic. It's got like the little weird looking Super Doge, what the hell? Yeah, okay. This thing, I don't know. Congregate packaging was always very strange. Packaging in general really was. Uh, yeah, but yeah, let's do this real quick before before we show it off. Focus. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, too far. There we go. So this is the Doge X2. And what makes it an X2? That airflow right there. And it's just eerily similar to the Mutation X, which was popular at the time. Hmm, funny how that works out. This tip right here is built in. This is a built in metal drip tip, which I personally cannot stand. I really hate metal drip tips in general, so that's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Uh, but it does have this kind of like, surface on it it's not like it feels almost rubbery which is weird i want to know what this is if anyone knows let me know in the comments or in chat but uh yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the deck real quick yeah copper posts because that used to be a big thing no clue why copper posts not a, not the best idea. Again, copper screws, not the best idea. Does, does that little teeny tiny bit of conductivity make that, that much of a difference? I sincerely, sincerely doubt it. And the fact that this hasn't oxidized after how many years is kind of scary. <laughs> but there you go. You can see the juice well, which is actually kind of small. These things were meant for competition vaping. So it's not really going to have the uh, the biggest juice well out there. It's meant for, you know, drip, vape, repeat, you know. <laughs> not so much on the, uh, the long-term vaping side of things. So let's get that screwed down. Make sure my ohm reader is off before continuing. We can just hand loosen the screws, luckily. These screws are beefy. Hmm. 
Oh, look at that. There's a little uh, shard of metal already in the post that's just kind of hanging on. What do, they, what do you call that? A chad? There's a chad in there. Can I get it? I think I got it. So post screws loosened. Coils. I mean, pretty much the easiest install. Let's see what that wrap goes over the top. So we put them in this way. Actually, you know what? Uh, I like doing them this way with the wrap over the top towards the outside. So that way the cotton can kind of just fall straight down rather than going over that last wrap. So that's the way we're going to do it. Ooh, these coils are flimsy. Yay. Love me some flimsy coils. Well, hello for British eyes, and no, I'm not going to do a Mohawk alien. That is your job, good sir. Uh, and I will kindly take re receipts of said coils whenever uh, you get this, the chance. So thank you very much for volunteering your services. <laughs> I've never tried. I uh, don't think I've ever tried a Mohawk. Honestly, don't really care to. I don't know. I'm a simple man. I like simple things. Simple Ricks. If you get that joke, you get 10 cool points. And It's pretty bad when you can just eyeball something and know you have the right leg length. Now that I said that, I'm probably going to have the wrong leg length and it's going to be completely screwed up when I go to adjust these things, but pretty sure we're Gucci. Come on. Yeah, I think we're good. I didn't really fully tighten them because I hate crimping the wire if I have to back it I will back it out. But I'm going to tighten them down. Nah. <laughs> AJ got it. Cheers to you, AJ. Thank you for getting my jokes. Or I guess Rick and Morty's jokes. Simple Ricks. I gotta watch that episode again. <laughs> Has anyone else like binged the entire season like several times? Cause or the entire like series? Because I most certainly have. I've seen every episode of Rick and Morty like at least five times. And my favorite episode is probably I like to say Anatomy Park, but, you know, Intergalactic Cable is a good one, and there's a few of them. Uh, let's do the old wiggle thing. Just wiggle it until it falls off. Oh, no. All right, hold on. Now I have to get in close with, with my face because I can't see. Hey, got it. Yeah, if you really, really, really don't want to clip that center lead, you got to get in real close. Urgh. There we go. Already looking pretty good here, ladies and gentlemen.
these coils are very flexible so that kind of makes me nervous because I'm like how are they gonna how are they gonna tune you know um, it kind of worries me that these screws are so loose still because I've, I've cranked on them a few times I just really don't want to accidentally snap my leads here all right all right mm, one more little straighten up here we should be good to tune them ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so looking good, pretty parallel as you can see there, as centered as I can make them. And it's time for some heat. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. All right, guess the resistance. Final resistance I'm gonna say is 0.16. Kinda have to do it with my thumb like that because then I wanna strum. Ooh, jumping up a little bit. Oh, they're getting hot pretty quick though. That's good. I was worried there's going to be a lot of freaking mass to these coils. Looks like that is not going to be the case here. They are kind of drooping though. As I heat them up, I can kind of see them just moving around a little bit. So, yay. Point one nine. Point two. A little bit higher than I would would have liked to have seen, honestly. Kind of shooting for that point one six range, but definitely no competition coils here. So don't expect to win a cloud comp with these things. Oh, crank it down. They're yeah, still looking pretty good. Point two, looking like point two is the final resistance. So, first thing that flashed on the screen ends up being the the final resistance for these bad Larrys. Uh, let's give you an, a, a proper close up look. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Ta-da! My coils glow. All right. Let's let them cool off for a second and get our wicks ready to go. Today I'll be using some native wicks. I, I'm literally just running off of these little sample packs at this point, so... Uh, I really could use a cotton sponsorship. Not that I really deserve one anymore because I don't really do proper build videos. But I'll have to just pick up some bacon or something like that, whatever we got hanging around the, uh, the shop. What's up, Stanley? What's up, Bretta? Let's see. Oh man, I cut my fingernails and now I can't get the damn bag open. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Here's the messy part because now it's going to be all sorts of cotton fibers flying around the place. Let's go ahead and get our appropriate amount of cotton. Oh wow, that strand was not as long as I thought it was going to be. Might still be workable though. We'll find out. Oh yes. Oh yeah. I think we got it. Uh. It's a little bit loose, but 
We'll just have to change them sooner than later, that's all. I swear the strand was longer. That's what she said. Oh, perfect. Honestly, these scissors, for how cheap and crappy they are, they're still pretty sharp. So I'm okay with that. Ooh. Keep forgetting that. The coils are not perfectly centered like on a modern RDA. So you have to kind of compensate for that with your wick length. All right, I think on this one, I'm just gonna do the straight tuck, no fluff. Oof, man, you got, really gotta tuck it in good though on this one. There's just no airflow going on underneath this coil. That's one thing I really hated about these old school RDAs is that center post always got in the way of your beautiful centered coils. No matter how good you centered your coils, that center post just blocked that airflow from going all the way through. Stan, take some notes here. This is how you design an RDA. <laughs> This is almost like a course in what not to do, really. I mean, like, just learning from our mistakes and moving past them and coming up with solutions for silly problems and... Ooh. All right. Whoa. Light turned down. There we go. Sorry about that. We're going to save all this cotton for later. And actually, we have another strand right here, so... Sweet. Now, cool thing is we can just pop the barrel on and align the airflow how we like it. And we'll take one of our bottles of juice. Straight tuck, no fluff, that's right. I don't know, I was such a proponent of the fluffing technique back in the day, and now I, I rarely ever do it, to be honest. Okay. So there we have it, boys and girls. Doge XV2, built, wicked, and dripped. Let's put the cap on here. I swear it feels rubberized. It feels really like weird. I really am curious as to what they did with that thing and why it feels the way it feels. Hold on, I'm grabbing my mod. It's not perfectly matchy-matchy, but it's close. It's a very odd color, this one. And let's align my cap again. Yeah, not, not perfect, but it looks more green on camera. It is, it is actually more of a blue-green kind of color. So it's close, just no cigar, that's all. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna aim my doge facing my j here. Ta-da! And the airflow is wide open right now. And we have the vapor. So let's go back to the main screen and uh, see what it vapes like. Boo! Whoop! All right, so move that mic back over there get comfy again let's have a vape on this thing shall we it's set to 85 watts 0.2 ohms was the final resistance let's have a vape Ooh, it's interesting Again, mango, even at one and a half milligrams, is a little bit throaty.
It's like mango syrup, which I'm really not complaining. Oh, now it's all the way open. Uh, okay, first thing, wow. First thing is it collects lip crud like crazy and everything sticks to it. <laughs> like apparently I had some uh, some chapstick or something on and it just, yeah, it's all over my top cap now. Uh, but we also have, <laughs> what the hell? There's a, an airflow hole in the cap here that goes upward. You can see that it's aimed upwards. So it's essentially like a carb. You're just adding air into your hit, but it's only on one side, it looks like. Why the hell do they do that? Why do they add that one hole up at the top here? It's not on the opposite side, as you can see there. Let's give you a better look here. Boop, do, properties. And yeah, it vapes nice though. So yeah, there's one airflow hole on that side that's aimed tilted upwards. It's gonna be impossible to see in this, this angle, but I assure you it is tilted upwards yeah, you can see the, <laughs> mm, that's, that's attractive, but it's not on the opposite side. There's nowhere else on the cap is there an airflow. I really want to know why they did that. Again, anyone knows why, let me know in the comments. It vapes nice. It vapes re <laughs> real nice at 85. Even with that mystery airflow hole, I can't tell at all why they added that. And I still have yet to redrip it. But you're seeing it. That's that's plenty of vapor. Man. Clouding out my room already. All right. Yeah, cotton's looking a little dry now, though. <laughs> Glad I caught that one. No dry hits. And yes, you could just kind of right down the top. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Definitely digging it. Uh, Karango's pretty good. It is... Not super sweet. It's it's like it's hard to describe. It's it's almost like a natural-ish mango, sort of candy-ish. It's kind of that, that like mix. It's like a cross between the two. It's like if you were to make like a mango syrup, like a reduction. That's what how I would describe it. It's very concentrated mango. Yeah. It's a nice vape though. I might continue using this setup. Cat hair everywhere. It's this, it's this fluffy bitches. Yeah, it's all your fault. Huh. You're awake now, I see, great. All right, vape cat, don't bother me. I have vape mail to unbox or unbag. Vape mail opening knife, check. Stab. Rip. Oh, it's from Vandy Vape. Let's see what we got. I'm sure there's already reviews of what I'm getting just now, so. <laughs> Look at that. Box opening skill right there. It is the Berserker 2. Mm, mouth to lung, MTLRTA. Well, it's a stainless steel one. So let's go ahead and open her up here and see what we got, because that's what we do. Probably not gonna build it on stream because we are running very short on time.
but we shall take a first look. Oh. Ooh. This is pretty sexy. Let me give you guys a better look here. Boop. Okay. Well, drip tip down. There. Nice and snug in the box. But hopefully you guys can see that. I know the focus is not wanting to do its job. I can fix that. I have the power. There we go. So there you go, guys. The first look at the Berserker 2. Looks pretty neat. Really digging that. I, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the, the Ultim down here. Yeah, that's just, just Ultim. Probably won't be using that. But the Berserker itself is pretty nice looking. Oh, now you want to go out. Of course. Yeah, that's how she does it. Pretty cool looking. Let's go back and do this. Let's just get a, a very brief overview and first impression of this thing. And there we go. So I like the tips. I really like the tips that come with this thing. I mean, this little nubby stubby tip is cool. It also comes with a longer pond style drip tip there. That is nice. And then you get the fancy one with the little little uh, fins on it. Not really heat sink fins. I don't think they're going to make that much of a difference as far as heat goes, but makes it look kind of unique. Very, uh, very like 50s retro vibe going on, I feel like. Uh, that, that like space age sort of thing. Let's see, is it a, a standard screw top? Mm -hmm. Can't figure it out. There's a little plastic piece at the bottom. See a bunch of little holes here. Looks about like one or one and a half millimeters a piece. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So you can have actually quite a bit of airflow for a, a mouth to lung RTA. And then you have the lopsided deck with a little, oh, okay. So let's go in for another closer look here. Boop, boop, and boop. All right, so zoop, there we go. Lopsided deck, as you can see, with this little slider piece, this thing, hold on, let's just adjust it. This thing slides, and you can just remove it, and then you can put a different one on. I'm assuming it comes with more in the box. So you have your, like, reducer there, and then you have your airflow holes at the bottom. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, I think I have a mouth to lung coil. I'm not sure if I have a for British eyes only or what, but, um, or if you guys want to see me take a look at other mouth to lung pre-made coils, like from coil turd or M Turk or anything like that. Let me know. Uh, actually patrons, you, sh you guys should let me know because ultimately I, I like, uh, hearing from the patrons, um, of what you guys want to see. And I, I'll just pick some up if you wanted me to use a specific type or if Ryan wants to send me a couple more of his mouth to lung frame staples, that would be cool too. He does an excellent job. Let's figure out this top. How does this uh, filling system work here? Really curious. Is there, is it slide open? I don't know. All right, cat. Cat wants to go out. Ugh. Go. <laughs> Sorry about that. She's very, very loud when uh, when she wants to go out. So before she starts meowing her freaking head off. Um. Let's see. How does this thing open up? Gotta love doing stuff live. Trying to push where the logo is. That's not working. Maybe you have to have the tip out. That's sometimes a thing. No, doesn't seem to be. How do you fill this thing? Hmm. There's probably uh, no good instructions. 
No, there's no instructions whatsoever. Like I thought, you do get a little baggy of uh, those little insert things, though. Hmm. How do you fill it? No. Twisting doesn't seem to be working. Curious. Very curious. Let's try putting the deck back together. Oh, 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 oh. So what's it, bayonet style? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it is, ooh, it's bayonet style, but it's reverse. So you have to turn it right to unlock it and left to tighten it. I don't think I like that. Honestly, it's not a good idea because that way you're going to be jerking your... That sounds wrong. But you're going to be doing a leftward... Leftward? A left hand twisting motion in order to, to tighten your top cap section, which can in turn remove or start to remove your Addy from your device. So... Uh, We'll see how that plays out, but kind of an interesting top cap locking mechanism. You really want it to go to the right, you know, righty tighty lefty loosey. Mm. Already don't really like that, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's smooth enough when you get it, you know, when you just go like that, it comes out really nice. But what concerns me is how much pressure you have to put on it to tighten it down. I mean, you could leave it not completely locked in, but then you run the risk of it falling off in your bag or your pocket or something like that. So, man, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out when I do the full review when I get this thing up and running with a coil in there. And that's coming up in a few weeks. Just needs some proper testing time. But let's just enjoy this uh, this doge here for a few more minutes. We have a few more minutes left. I'm going to give you guys another round of shout-outs here in just a second. So if you would like a shout-out, any one of the 32 current viewers, if you guys want a shout-out, drop something in the chat. It doesn't matter. Say something nice, mean, whatever. And uh, I'll read your name off in a minute here. Before I do that, I'm going to read through... The week's subscribers. So this week we've got Zelang Zing. Thank you for subscribing. Juan Carlos Rodriguez Bur Burgos. We've got Hugo De La Garza. We've got Max Fisher. Uh, Gates 0117. John George. James Plogger. Uh, and Aaron Phil. Thank you very much for subscribing. Everyone this week slowly just chugging along with the subscribers here. I'm going to hit 100K in 57 years. But yeah, that's this week's subscribers. Let's have a, another little vape on this thing. Ooh, that cap. The second it, it gets juice on it, the cap is very loose on this Doge XB2. All right. <clears throat> so let's scroll up a little bit. We'll read off the last few minutes of, uh, of chats here. All right. We have... Trying to get people who didn't get a shout-out earlier as well. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Tenacious TX Vapes. Thank you so much, Stan, for stopping by the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a few things, you know, about what not to do. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. We've got Noah Briggs. Hello. Beef, beefy Jerky. How's it going? What's up, my mother fluffer? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. And also, if you want to talk about something real quick, quick in chat, if you want to have a question... Anything like that, drop it in chat right now. I'll go through the last few minutes just answering a few questions. Uh, but Beefy Jerky says, you talk about old school RDA. I have a dark horse. Those things are hard to find nowadays. 
I might still have one kicking around the shop. You'd be surprised how much old school stuff I actually have. So you can expect a lot more of these kind of new school slash old school build videos coming up uh, when I don't have anything better to talk about. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I have I have a ton though. I have a, I found a tow baddie. I found an original tugboat, uh, Derringer. So lots and lots and lots of stuff to come. Uh, throw a vape band on it. Mm, oh, you're talking about that thing. Meh, I don't mind it. It doesn't really seem to do anything. The little extra hole thing. I don't really think it does anything. Vape mail. Question is, <clears throat> better to get Mujin cotton from Amazon because Toughwick's website is down indefinitely and there's other there and there's other types. I used to use Cogendo, 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 however, however you want to pronounce it. That's the cotton I used to use and that stuff was great back in the day. I used to love that stuff. Uh, I almost miss it. I might actually go out of my way and pick a bag up off Amazon because I'm pretty sure you can still get it because essentially at the end of the day it's a makeup accessory they consider it a makeup thing where it's like soft cotton pads for what have you so that's what we're going to be doing <clears throat> oh let's see Swaggins wants all of the Vandy Vape tips well I'm pretty sure you don't want to put a Vandy Vape tip on a high-end Addy Swaggins so eh, not recommended you got to get something real special like a like a Zen tip or something like that. I'm not sure if he even still makes tips anymore, but he used to make the, the real long, like, pipe-looking ones and stuff like that. He had some really funky tips out there back in the day. Uh, silver and black drip tips, a little short. Eh, uh, it's, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I honestly like the shorty one because it's really got the strong curve on it, so you can just, yeah. It's, it's hard to explain, but it just feels better, in my opinion. That real real tight curve, uh, uh, pawn-style drip tip. Uh, let's see. Dust H, shout-out to you. Shadow Link Vapor, what's up, my patron dude? How's it going? He says, mouth to lung aliens are where it's at. If you want to point one out to me that you would like me to, to, to check out, I will gladly do so, good sir. Stu Rep says, howdy, y'all. We've got Kenneth Arnold Quahir. I call him Quahir. Stan says it's quiet Quager. I like saying Quahir. <laughs> Lando, my dude. Uh, definitely not where you parked your car, that is for sure. Yeah, and that's the other thing about Japanese cotton. It's ridiculously cheap. It is super cheap. Uh, let's see... This motherfucker says something nice, mean, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, you follow directions. Good for you. <laughs> uh, and let's see. That that's about it. That's that's about all you guys want to know. No questions this week. I'm actually pretty surprised. When did Stan get here? He's been here for half the stream, dude. You've been missing chat. Apparently, you're watching someone on Twitch or something right now. Uh, John. Elkins says, uh, M-Turk, Mouth to Lung Aliens. I think that might be the play. I think I might have to pick some of those up. Uh, wasn't that the guy from Total Recall? <laughs> That's a good question. I'll have to Google it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just going to reiterate my point from the start of this stream. If you guys want to sign up for Patreon, it's a dollar a month or any of the $5, 10 or $15 tiers get you access to the giveaways. And with that, I give away anything that I have doubles of. So occasionally I'll give some stuff away. Then I also am doing a, uh, it's going to kind of be like one of those $1, $2 sales, but it's going to be a, not quite a penny auction, but like a quarter auction. So we're going to just put a bunch of stuff up on the Patreon pictures and you guys will be able to bid on it in the comments, raising a quarter every time. Anything over the shipping amount gets donated to a charity of the patrons choosing. I really am not looking to make a profit off of any of this stuff. So I think what we're going to do is just donate it to some sort of charity somewhere. Um, and we'll, we'll decide that after all is said and done. 
all I'm looking for here is cost of shipping. That's really all I care about because otherwise it would cost me a thousand bucks to ship everything out. But, uh, Lando, I didn't, didn't trim my beard. It's a little bit floofy today because it's very humid, uh, and I didn't oil it. So that's probably it. It's not really as, like, straight as it could be. And I'm also not wearing a black t-shirt. Usually when I'm rocking a black shirt, uh, it kind of blends in. But yeah, now you can see how, how kind of thin it is towards the ends there. <clears throat> uh, Kenneth Arnold, I have a Ryzen 9 12 core. It's a 3900 uh, 12 core 24 thread. And it's a beast. Yeah, chugging along. I can run... Games from a couple of years ago run super smooth, 140 plus frames per second. Yet, for some reason, even on medium to low settings on Modern Warfare, I still only get about 110. It goes up when there's not a lot going on on screen, but I don't know what it... That, that game is so horribly optimized, it's not even funny. But that's a complaint for another day! You guys, if you want to check uh, check out my Twitch channel, link is down in the description. It's twitch.tv slash slightly buzzed. I'll be streaming right after this. I'm going to get something to eat and hop on stream. Probably play some Borderlands 2. I beat Borderlands 1 last night, so we're on to the second one. And we're just going to go all the way through it. Not tonight, obviously, but we'll get a few hours in and have a good time over there. So please feel free to check that out once again. Link's right down there. All the links to everything down there in the description. This video will be up on my website immediately following this, uh, this video's uploading, essentially. And I'll have all the links there as well. Plus, you can buy my merch there if you guys want to check out a Daily Vape t-shirt. This is what they are. This is what they look like. And they're very soft and very nicely fitting. Very flattering, if I do say so myself. Uh, but you guys can get one of those there as well. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got for you today. Not a lot of exciting stuff going on for right now. I will be putting in some time with this Berserker 2. And hopefully I'll get some more stuff for my Steam Crave atomizers in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully, hopefully by next week. We're going to... We're going to hope for next week. What the front with the 99 cent super chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are, with a little poop emoji. That's lovely. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun building this thing. Let's, let's vape it a couple more times here. Good to see you, too, Alien O'Shea. Thanks for stopping by the stream. And Amelia C, shout out to you. Doge XV2, still good in 2020. Man, if I had a better thought process, I would have named the stream that. Is it still good in 2020? But lots more vintage eddies to go, vintage, old school, what have you. Uh, lots more to come on the channel, so stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for the continued support. Without you guys being here, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. And uh, check out my Twitch. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, vape on.